Trading 2 and 2 has three main types of investment accounts. You have your ISA, which most people are, have as a product. You have your investment account, which means you will have to pay tax once you earn over a certain amount through dividends or capital gains. And they have their CFD account, which I've seen getting a lot of attention on social media, etc. recently. So, but a lot of people don't know what uh, the CFD account is and, and the risks uh, opposed to that. So a CFD account is a contract for difference between financial products. So what this is, it's an agreement between an investor and a broker um, to exchange a difference in the value of a financial product between the contract, between the time the contract opens and closes. So Trading212 offers uh, numerous different financial products such as commodities, you can see there gold and oil, currency pairs, uh, foreign exchange, which is foreign exchange, so you've got your US, uh, euros versus US dollars. You can also do it within your stocks and shares as well as uh, cryptocurrencies more recently. So the main difference between the CFD and normal invest or, or ISA account is for starters, you don't own the underlying assets. So once you once you purchase the contract for that currency pair, you don't own either the euro or the US dollar. You simply own a contract um, betting whether it'll go one way or the other, and then that's how you make your money. So obviously in the invest account, if you buy a stock or share, you own the underlying assets, you're entitled to dividend payments. Um, essentially the company's assets are, are partially owned by yourself and obviously the other shareholders. Um, and and cryptocurrency again is you don't own that currency. It's it's not a it's not a crypto wallet or anything. So another difference is you have a leveraged account in Trading Two One Two. They offer retail investors a one to thirty leverage, which means if your financial product you purchase goes up by a pound, you make thirty pound. If it goes down by a pound, you lose thirty pound. So this has its pros and cons. Obviously, it means you can make a lot of money fast. And, but equally, you can lose it just as fast if you don't know what you're doing. And not only that, it's very hard to do what day traders do. Um, essentially, they look at, um, if I open up Facebook here, you can see the chart. They they look at its uh, previous movements. Um, they try to analyze consumer behavior of when they sell, when they buy, and try to predict where the market's going to go next, which is very, very hard to do, especially consistency, consistently. And there's many factors that, that Im impact this. So... For example, uh, a news report, or even when Donald Trump tweets, it affects the price of the US dollar. And that's out of your control. You can't know when them actions are going to happen. It could be something such as a storm or or an earthquake. These kind of effects can have detrimental impacts on, on, on these financials. So if there's a company, um, or oil is a good example. So if, if there's a tsunami out by a massive oil refinery and it gets destroyed, the price of oil drops. If there's Donald Trump tweets about the trade war with China, the US dollar drops. And you can never know when that's going to happen. So no matter how much analysis you do and you've got the market trends on lock, you know what's going to, you, you know what's going to happen if everything plays out normally. You can't account for them unknowns, which is where a lot of the risk comes from. So that's it. So you don't own the underlying asset. It's a leveraged account. Um, it, it's really hard to day trade. Um, so... On top of all this, where it is leveraged, you're playing with more money than you have in your account. Like I said, it's 1 to 30 um, for most investors on here, retail investors. So if I have £100 in my account, essentially that's £3,000. So my, my my position can go, in theory, negative. So Trading 2 and 2 has um, precautions to prevent that. So as you can see here on this, on this green line, you've got your margin call, which is basically saying that your funds are running low, top up, or you're, you're in danger of your positions closing automatically. Um, and, it, and if you don't top up and it continues to fall, I think it's around the 20% mark here, you can see, uh, you your positions will be closed at a loss and, and you won't get a chance to recover. So this has, a, again, a, a, it's another thing that has its pros and cons. Obviously, if you've got a a trade that's going to keep falling down, they they could save you a lot of money and go negative. But equally, the prices can change drastically instantaneously. So I'll put the screenshot here so you can see the price just suddenly drops and then goes back up to the green to profit. Um, but their position would have been closed out and they wouldn't have realised that profit because they've been closed out at a loss um, with, with no with no fault of their own. They didn't close it. It's just because um, essentially the contract states that the broker didn't want to take that risk so it closes out early. So you, you can make a lot of money um, and there are upsides to this. I, I'm sure you've seen a lot of articles recently um, saying how Warren Buffett's philosophy is wrong. Um, time time in the market is 
not as good as timing the market. So that's with a G. Um, and, and, and that's because where the market has rebounded, no one predicted that. It's not following normal economic, economic sense. It doesn't make sense to a lot of investors out there. Um, and a lot are predicting another crash. While day traders um, and other um, short, uh, a lot of people call it dumb money, just throw money into the markets and they're making a killing, especially with their leverage accounts where things, everything's gone up non-stop. It was hard to make a loss unless you was uh, unless you was betting on the market going down, short in the market. So you you can count your losses, you can you can count your wins. You can say a lot of people have made money, but it won't last forever. And equally, they can lose a hell of a lot more if it does collapse again, and they continue to do what they're doing. So it, to conclude, the CFD account is a a higher risk trading platform where you don't own the underlying assets and you have more money to play with than you initially deposit. For myself, I don't see myself using it anytime soon. Um, I think it's too hard to do. I think I'm in no rush to make the money. I'm, I'm saving, I'm investing a lot in my in my other ISAs and also my Trading2 account here, where I have tangible physical assets that I can have a bit better understanding of and have more of a clearer prediction of what's gonna happen. Um, so for example if, if here you can see my trade so so bae systems have gone down i didn't know it was going to drop that one percent when i bought it um which i'm, I'm minus 0.88 percent down now but i can predict that in the next five to ten years it will go up quite a bit so the reason why i i think this is for one is safer and secondly it's it, it's it's hard to say but it's about getting that tangible asset you own the company there's something to be proud of and it's, it's quite a cool feeling to have that um and with trading is it that's not the case hence why i don't do that so yeah so if, if you guys had any experience with the cfd account do let me know in the comments below I, i'd love to hear your experiences um or again if you or even if you're like me you, you say no it's, it's too risky for me i don't want to do it let me know as well um so yeah thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed if you thought i missed anything out again include it below thank you see you next time